Hey y'all, it is Deanna from Before the Fit. Um, I have possibly a new video idea for my channel. So, um, I live in the South, so we have Food Line in the South, and one of the things I like about Food Line is their their app and their Shop and Earn program, which is like fantastic. It's um, you could do so much with the shop, with the, um, what's it called, um, the, um, the app, um, you can clip coupons, you can, um, look at the, the weekly ads, and then they also have, um, what my favorite thing is the shop and earn, which is a monthly thing where you spend X amount of money in a certain department like produce and you get um and you earn like x amount back so but you have to go in every month and activate it so sometimes i don't always remember to do it and then i go grocery shopping and you know if i go in the produce department like today and I forget to activate like today September 1st and I forget to activate the um the shop and earn for this month and I lose out on um spending in that department and then earning in earning money back on my next one so you know I try to shop those like short shop shop normally and then also shop the um the the shop and earn so this month i have it activated and i printed it out so this is for this month so you spend this is like everything for this month breakfast style you spend five dollars and you earn two dollars on your next purchase and then um the condiments canned goods like your soups and your veggies, um, down here is a list from the app. Um, so if you spend all of this in these different departments, then you get to earn like these off your next for potentially like $18 off your next, um, purchase, which come end of the month is, you know, when you have, you know, more month at the end of your paycheck or whatever food stamps um this this is a list of some of the things that you can get like for each department so um yeah <laughs> so I think it is like a really good program and I, I really enjoy doing it and I you know it's always nice to be able to, you know, lower that grocery bill. Um, with inflation, you know, things are going up. And I kind of want to challenge myself to, um, to, like, just one trip stick to all of this, um, in the shop and earn and see if I could feed two kids and two adults on this. Um, like in, where is it? Canned goods. I think I saw it. No. Where is it? Oh, condiments. So my, my, my youngest, he eats a lot of peanut butter and jelly. So if I buy that you know peanut butter and jelly if I get it that stocked up for him like one jar of peanut butter one jar of jelly you know then that counts towards the condiments so I know you can easily spend at least five bucks on like a larger can of peanut butter or a larger jar it's not in a can <laughs> a jar of peanut butter um, jelly, it kind of gets expensive too, depending on what you get. Like, I get for him since he eats a lot of like the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I do get the naturals peanut butter and jelly. It has less sugar and you know, less ingredients. So, you know, I just feel better 
about that and he is actually running low on peanut butter we might have another jar of jelly in the the pantry um so i i want to see how many days i can you know buy buy like a hundred dollars worth of food and see how many days i can feed like two dogs and two kids off of that um I know it's not going to take a lot to, um, like in the frozen foods, you spend $10 and you get $2. So, depending on what you buy in the frozen food department, you know, you could s easily spend $15, $20. So, on like one family size thing. So, that's not going to, you know, take a while. <laughs> So, but I do like to go to, like, Food Lion and get, um, like, the frozen vegetables. You know, like, like the Food Lion brand, um, what's it called? Um, broccoli. Uh, we just, I just used the last of the broccoli this week whenever I made beef and broccoli for my lunch. Um, so, you know, breakfast aisle, five bucks spend five dollars it's not gonna take a lot to spend five dollars in the breakfast aisle like you get a box of cereal and you're over five dollars so um condiments same thing like um like the mayonnaise is almost five bucks depending on what kind you get peanut butter five, a jar of peanut butter for five dollars um so what else? Produce, you get bagged or individual fruits and veggies, nuts, like the um, produce nuts. Um, salad mixes, some of those salad mixes can, can be like really expensive. Um, cut fruit, fresh herbs, so you know, that kind of stuff is like what, I could probably get like a bag of apples for like snacks and stuff like that to go with like the peanut butter and um do that as a healthier snack and then the deli and bakery so me and elijah actually talked about um getting the the lunch meat and cheese from the from food line because it's actually cheaper than walmart depending on the brand um and they have the like the cheaper store brand instead of the the name brand Land of Lakes American cheese at Walmart is like seven eight dollars a pound, which is expensive. Um, so um, at Walmart we we got like the Italian hero subs. Um, so I took a picture of that to see what kind of lunch meats are in there and, you know, get that stuff. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that this month. So, so to spend a total of $100 and save $18. So, yeah, 